French port town of Calais has been blockaded by around 100 local ferry workers as part of a union strike. They have burned tires and closed off the port in protest of mass redundancies. Illegal migrants who have been camped out in Calais for months trying to, to reach the UK have reportedly used the situation to sneak onto trucks waiting to cross the channel. Well, let's now uh, cross live to Polly Boyko, who has covered the situation in Calais extensively. Well, uh, hi there, Polly. So uh, do tell us what's happening in this French coastal town. Well, as a result of these unauthorized strikes by some of the workers there, the port of Calais has now been closed and the British government has issued a statement to any Britons who might be there. They've said that there are large numbers of illegal migrants in and around Calais who may seek to enter the UK illegally. And they've said that although local police patrols have been reinforced, you should keep vehicle doors locked in slow moving traffic and secure your vehicle when it's left unattended. Now, the strikers have have blockaded the port and they've set tires alight near the terminal and all that's caused a large traffic pile up on the motorway leading up to the port and that has in turn mobilized many of the migrants in Calais to try and jump into the trucks and the lorries bound for Britain. We're hearing reports that the riot police have had to be drafted in to hold back some of these migrants from jumping into these trucks in uh, broad daylight quite brazenly. It's a bit of a departure from when they traditionally jump into these trucks or try to at night so now the scene is rather chaotic and it shows just how fragile the situation in Calais is and how increasingly desperate the migrants in Calais are they live in uh, rather squalid conditions and uh, just as an example I've reported from Calais uh, on a number of occasions and uh, by law you're required to have a sticker on the car bumper that says Great Britain and that sticker acts like such a magnet when you're in the camp in Calais. I've lost count of the number of times that I've had to explain to uh, migrants who sort of try their luck and ask for us to put them in the boot of the car. And I've had to explain that we can't do that. It's against the law. And they've taken it on the chin for the most part. But many truck drivers haven't been that lucky. Many of them say uh, that they're threatened on regular occasions with violence when they find uh, stowaways in the back of their lorries who are desperate uh, to get to Britain and the situation appears to be uh, spiraling and it's causing increasing friction between the British and the French authorities. To say that the mayor of Calais is fed up with the situation is to say nothing at all. Uh, the, Natasha Bouchard has now called on the French government to provoke a diplomatic incident with Britain over the crisis and we can take a listen to some of her proposals now. Great Britain must either enter Europe with all the conditions of Schengen or leave Europe, but there comes a point when we can no longer be held hostage. Well, Natasha Bouchard has also said that Britain doesn't give a euro towards uh, helping the town in dealing with the increasing number of migrants coming uh, to live in and around the port of Calais. In terms of numbers, there are now over 3,000 migrants in Calais. They're living with no water, no electricity, no toilets in those camps. And riots and skirmishes between them are becoming increasingly commonplace. But the biggest concern that we're hearing from aid workers because when we speak to them on the ground is that they're worried about the increasing number of uh, migrants who will come to Calais. They're worried there will be more people coming to Calais over the summer months from Africa and the Middle East. And they say that they just haven't got uh, the manpower to cope with the humanitarian issues that all those migrants bring with them. Right, Polly, thanks so much for bringing us uh, this update. Indeed, the situation is quite dire there, but thanks for keeping, uh, uh, the, uh, keeping it on the radar for us.